So I'm here with Bruno. Um, it's kind of a rainy day. We finally sent the fly fishing guests home and because it's not a optimal conditions for kiting, which we're going to be doing here soon. We're watching paramotoring videos out of excitement. We'll be doing that here soon enough, buddy. Getting you up in the sky. Willie's now a professional videographer. <laughs> he made a very good, very good film. Good job, Willie. The best filmmaker in all of Kiribati. All of Kiribati. So last night. Um, a big old rat crawled underneath my mosquito net when I was sleeping and I felt the sharp claws start clawing up my leg, go up my chest and then up across my face and I sat up and just yelled. I freaked out. I stood up and this thing's still like crawling on me and I'm like, ah, and I'm trying to bash it off me. And there's like a big rainstorm and the wind's blowing everywhere and uh, Tewawa, my my mother here ran out of the house over there and ran over here to see if everything was okay. She's like, Cameron, what, what, what? And I'm like, oh, it's okay. I was standing outside just like in my underwear, just scared shitless. I, I couldn't go back to sleep after that. I laid down and tried for a bit. I was like, ah, I'm just going to stay up. And so I watched some old vlogs, which I haven't done in a long time. It was nice. Um, anyways, tomorrow the whole family's moving over to Tateki, Tateki, uh, where my house is at, and we're doing a, a like couple week picnic over there while we build a, a couple more kikis and get the place all ready for living. So very stoked about that. Bringing all the boards over there, and it's gonna be a good time. So the ship with all the school kids just came back from Tarawa. They have to send them off for. Um, to go to high school up there because there's no more high school here anymore and it's like a two-week ship ride back and forth and so they're all just unloading now and the families are here welcoming them so right now we're gonna go to Bruno's place and we're gonna teach him how to kite his glider because the first step to learning how to fly and how to paramotor is to learn how to kite the thing above your head and keep it up there without any problems. It's the, how to do it properly and safely. And uh, so we're gonna go out in the field and set up the, the kite or the wing and we're gonna get him, get him in the air here soon. And get me in the air here soon. I get to fly a paramotor on fucking Fanny. How cool. Looks like his truck's gone, so he's probably out and about running chores. So I'm gonna go steal some of his coffee and hang out till he gets here. This thing is beautiful. Wow. How sexy. Bastian! Bruno! I've come to steal your coffee! You ready to go kite the glider? I don't know, I look at it's the good. It's so strong. Out in the field, it's, it's nice and blocked, and I think we can do some small inflations. We we, we we can try. I tried uh, yesterday, and the wind was a little yeah. dusty. Huh? Yeah. So sometimes you drop, it's like yeah. red, and then and I I try open the, the wheel. I try and it went, ooh, and I start to pull. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> then then he went uh, on the side, oh, yeah. and I always you know, slide. And oh I, yeah. I say, oh. And then it starts raining a little bit, <laughs> and I say, okay, maybe I wait for a couple Yeah, of it's perfect. Well, I can At help you out. This is open. Yeah, you got it open and saw it. Wait. I like your Team Blackhawk hat. That's perfect. <laughs> Let's do this. Two are ready to go. Oh, yeah. The wind. 
windsock. Oh, heck yeah, we're gonna need that. It's a little weird today, the wind. strong but there's we're gonna be kiting in a bit of a rotor uh, because that's the only spot where it's light enough to where we can safely out. Gracian you naughty boy you're naughty I left my camera in Bruno's truck and Gracian grabbed the lens smeared it drooled all over my gimbal and bit a giant hole in my microphone like he bit the end of it and just tore off all the fuzz so <laughs> That was a mistake that I made. Naughty Gracian. So Bruno's putting on his uh, sketchy harness that he made for for flying here in Fanning. Homemade? Yeah, homemade harness. No. We're gonna be hucking him off a coconut tree with it. <laughs> it's gonna be be really funny. I left my camera in your car and Gracian bit a, a hole in my microphone. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the only problem we have with this harness is it's not hooked up from here to the chest. So when I try to uh, inflate the glider, it went off to one side or the other, but we're going to fix that. It's going? Going. I don't see anything. You don't have to. Okay. Just point at my general direction. It's a huge rotor. Wind pick up. So there's a lot of wind over there, but it's coming this direction. It's getting blocked by all those trees, so it's pretty gusty. And we're gonna probably pack up and go to another spot, but Bruno's gonna try to do a quick inflation. Oh, it's changed directions now. It's coming from all over the place. Keep going, faster, 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 pull up. Bruno must be taking some kind of shortcut here. I've never taken this path before. But anyways, it was way too gusty to be flying. There's a big rotor coming off the trees from the breeze that's coming from the ocean. And the breeze coming from the ocean is really nice and consistent but there's no way to access that other than at the airstrip. So next week, and sadly for Bruno, he has to take a ferry across the channel. <laughs> Gotta take a ferry across the channel oh, to get to the airstrip. For me, it's nice at my place because it's really close. I found this old kite in one of the abandoned houses back in the, the main village. Don't know whose it is, but it's pretty old looking, full of uh, patches and and I uh, figured if it works, if it holds air, then it'll be the perfect means of transportation around the island since I learned in uh, the PC, the basics, I have a board here. So I'm going to pump it up now and see if it holds air. Uh, there was no lines or, or pump or anything, and then I asked around, and it turns out that Bruno had an extra pair of lines, and I was finally able to find a a pump that works um, in a harness. So I just scrounged up all the materials finally and pump it up now and see if it holds air. Pretty big, big kite. It's full of uh, patches and, and holes though. The stitching is wearing away. It's covered in tape, so it looks a little sketchy. We'll see. There's patches all over there. Maybe it'll work. So I've pumped it up, 
waiting to see if it holds air. And I just unraveled the, the line set that Bruno gave me. And it's the bar is eroded away from the, the lines. It's just completely snapped off on both ends. So these lines are no bueno. They're garbage. Um, yeah, maybe I can figure something out, but to kite one of these things on sketchy lines and a sketchy kite and my harness is a little too big for me and it looks kind of sketchy too, so it's a sketchy thing, sketchy setup for a sketchy sport already, but I'm a sketchy guy, so maybe, uh, maybe I'll figure something out. I need a way to get around this lagoon quick on my surfboard. It's the way to go whenever the wind's too strong to fly a paramotor. Oh yeah, life's cool. So upset I have everything except for the lines have eroded away from the bar. I mean, they got the harness and it's just unfortunate. And for all the stitching to be eroding away from the leading edge, I'm surprised it's still holding there pretty good. Um, it's been about an hour now and it's still really firm, so I'll leave it overnight and see if that's the case. If it's good, then all I need is, a, is some lines and a, and a bar. So I'll order that from home for a couple hundred bucks, I think, and I'll have a, a transportation system out here. Oh yeah, coolest one around, other than Bruno's paramotor. <laughs>